in an unyielding stance against the rising trend of vaping, Singapore is stepping up its anti-vaping initiatives, promising increased checks at various entry points, notably the bustling Changi Airport. The Ministry of Health MOH and the Health Sciences Authority HSA have outlined stringent measures, warning arriving passengers of potential screenings for evaporizers and related components in the arrival halls. Under the new regulations, those found in possession of vaping paraphernalia will face fines unless they willingly declare and surrender these items at the red channel. The penalties for illegal vaping in Singapore can reach up to two Singapore dollars. Zero, zero, zero. Furthermore, the punishment for importing, distributing, or selling vaping products is significantly harsher, potentially involving incarceration. In addition to airports, enforcement will extend to public hotspots such as the Central Business District and entertainment outlets. As of December 1st, National Environment Agency officers have been authorized to act against vape users or owners. Issuing fines on the spot. The intensification of these measures comes in response to the alarming rise in vaping among the local population, including school children. Many are obtaining their supplies online or abroad, thereby circumventing local regulations. To address this, MOH and HSA are joining forces with other agencies to enhance online surveillance and the removal of illegal vape sales and advertisements. Moreover, schools and higher education institutions are set to enforce stricter measures. These include confiscation, parental notification, and potential disciplinary actions such as suspension or even caning. Students caught vaping will be placed in cessation support programs. The overarching goal is to deter vaping from becoming deeply rooted in society, given the associated risks, addiction, cancer, heart and lung diseases, and the potential for evaporizers to serve as a gateway to traditional cigarette smoking. This crackdown aligns with the recent call from the World Health Organization for Urgent Action to regulate e-cigarettes. Aiming to protect children and non-smokers alike and highlighting the higher prevalence of vaping among teenagers compared to adults.